Hello guys, welcome back to the One Year Bible Reading. Today's reading is for October 7th. Before we read, let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for another day of life, Lord God. Thank you for all of your blessings. Thank you for being so awesome and powerful and amazing. May you fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Give us discernment on how to live our lives right. May you guide us every step of the way. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who died for us on the cross and rose again from the grave. May we live boldly and confidently, Lord. And may we give you all the glory, honor, and praise and worship that you deserve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 8, through chapter 9, verse 26. How can you say, we are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us? Look, the false pen of the scribe certainly works falsehood. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Behold, they have rejected the word of the Lord. So what wisdom do they have? Therefore, I will give their wives to others and their fields to those who will inherit them. Because from the least, even to the greatest, everyone is given to covetousness. From the prophet, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed nor do they know how to blush. Therefore they shall fall among those who fall. In the time of their punishment, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. I will surely consume them, says the Lord. No grapes shall be on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade, and the things I have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still? Assemble yourselves, and let us enter the fortified cities, and let us be silent there. For the Lord our God has put us to silence, and given us water of gall to drink, because we have sinned against the Lord. We looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of health, and there was trouble. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones. For they have come and devoured the land and all that is in it, the city and those who dwell in it. For behold, I will send serpents among you, vipers which cannot be charmed, and they shall bite you, says the Lord. I would comfort myself in sorrow. My heart is faint in me. Listen, the voice, the cry of the daughter of my people from a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their carved images, with foreign idols? The harvest is past. The summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, I am hurt. I am mourning. Astonishment has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no recovery for the health of the daughter of my people? Oh, that my head were waters, and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night. For the slain of the daughter of my people. O oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place for travelers, that I might leave my people and go from them, for they are all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men. And like their bow they have bent their tongues for lies, they are not valiant for the truth on the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil. And they do not know me, says the Lord. 
Everyone take heed to his neighbor, and do not trust any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanderers. Everyone will deceive his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies. They weary themselves to commit iniquity. Your dwelling place is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Therefore thus, says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will refine them and try them. For how shall I deal with the daughter of my people? Their tongue is an arrow shot out. It speaks deceit. One speaks peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in his heart he lies in wait. Shall I not punish them for these things? Says the Lord. Shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? I will take up a weeping and wailing for the mountains, and for the dwelling places of the wilderness a lamentation, because they are burned up, so that no one can pass through. Nor can men hear the voice of the cattle. Both the birds of the heavens and the beasts have fled. They are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a den of jackals. I will make the cities of Judah desolate, without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man who may understand this? And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken, that he may declare it? Why does the land perish and burn up like a wilderness, so that no one can pass through? And the Lord said, Because they have forsaken my law which I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, nor walked according to it, but they have walked according to the dictates of their own hearts, and after the bales which their fathers taught them. Therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will feed them, this people, with wormwood, and give them water of gale to drink. I will scatter them also among the Gentiles, whom neither they nor their fathers have known. I will send a sword after them until I have consumed them. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Consider and call for the mourning women, that they may come, and send for skillful wailing women, that they may come. Let them make haste and take up a wailing for us, that our eyes may run with tears and our eyelids gush with water. For a voice of wailing is heard from Zion. How we are plundered! We are greatly ashamed because we have forsaken the land, because we have been cast out of our dwellings. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth. Teach your daughters wailing, and every one her neighbor a lamentation. For death has come through our windows, has entered our palaces, to kill off the children, no longer to be outside, and the young men no longer on the streets. Speak. Thus says the Lord. Even the carcasses of men shall fall as refuse on the open field like cuttings after the harvester, and no one shall gather them. Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches, but let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me that I am the Lord, exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these I delight, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will punish all who are circumcised with the uncircumcised, Egypt, Judah, Edom, 
the people of Ammon, Moab, and all who are in the farthest corners, who dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. The Book of Colossians, Chapter 3, Verses 1 through 17. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. But now, you yourselves are to put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The book of Psalm, chapter 78, verses 32 through 55. In spite of this, they, Israel, still sinned and did not believe in his wondrous works. Therefore their days he consumed in futility and their years in fear. When he slew them, then they sought him. And they returned and sought earnestly for God. Then they remembered that God was their rock, and the Most High God their Redeemer. Nevertheless, they flattered him with their mouth, and they lied to him with their tongue. For their heart was not steadfast with him, nor were they faithful in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Yes, many a time he turned his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a breath that passes away and does not come again. How often they provoked him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Yes, again and again they tempted God 
and limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember His power. The day when He redeemed them from the enemy. When He worked His signs in Egypt and His wonders in the field of Zoan, turned their rivers into blood and their streams that they could not drink. He sw sent swarms of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs, which destroyed them. He also gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. He also gave up their cattle to the hill and their flocks to fiery lightning. He cast on them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending angels of destruction among them. He made a path for his anger. He did not spare their soul from death, but gave their life over to the plague and destroyed all the firstborn in Egypt, the first of their strength in the tents of Ham. But he made his own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, so that they did not fear. But the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to his holy border, this mountain which his right hand had acquired. He also drove out the nations before them, allotted them an inheritance by survey, and made the tribes of Israel dwell in their tents. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 27. Prepare your outside work. Make it fit for yourself in the field. And afterward, build your house. May God bless you guys. Hope you all have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.